Referees are creatures of havoc because they do it every single day. They do the exact same thing and they believe that they get to a game situation and if everything is going smooth throughout the day, then they know that they're going to have a good game. They get up at a certain time every single day. Normally it's the same time. All their flights are probably within 30 minutes every single day. My daily routine is I take the first flight of the morning. That allows me to have backups in the event of off-schedule operations with the airlines. They want to make sure they get there so they don't have any stress. They don't want to miss their workout. They don't want to miss lunch. They don't want to miss their nap. When you get to the hotel, uh, you get your stuff in the room. If guys are in the same place, they'll usually get together for lunch. Uh, then after lunch, you go back to your room, uh, get a nap. You, you want to make sure you're getting the proper rest as much as you can, especially, as I said, when you're doing three, four, and five games a week. So I think that's one of the major reasons why guys have a routine, because of that factor alone. It's important that, that we get our rest um, so we can be mentally uh, focused once the ball is thrown up. Sweet home. I get to the town, and we'll either pick up my rental car or get a hotel shuttle to the property, hoping that uh, my room is ready for me early in the morning. Then uh, I'll get myself unpacked and settled, try to get some exercise. Our guys work out all the time. It's of utmost importance for them to be in great shape because they know that if they're in shape, they're gonna get through a season. As we age and get older, you know, the one thing that never changes is that the kids every year stay 18 to 22. It's important for me to maintain a physical regimen 12 months a year. You know, I'm not 19 or 20 anymore, so I've, I push myself. I want to still look like an athlete. I want to run like an athlete. I want to stay in shape. I got to do whatever I possibly can to uh, keep up with these guys. So, but it's a challenge every night. Well, when I started 21 years ago, there was no film study, um, nothing like it is now. Now, Brian Kersey, uh, after the game, he's sending us four and five plays from the game to look at. We have it on our iPad instantly. Daily film study makes our referees better. It, it lets them see their positioning. It lets them see their body language. It lets them see where they are when they make a, a foul call on the floor, if they have a straight line look or if they have an open look. Well, with the film, the film doesn't lie. Uh, it's gonna tell you the truth. And so in reviewing the game film, that allows us to see areas of opportunity, whether it's positioning, whether it's call selectivity, whether it's letting the play start, develop, and finish. Uh, but the video doesn't lie, so it's a great tool to help enhance our performance. You know, for four and a half months, this is like, um, this is like our job. You hear the perception sometimes, oh, they referee a game and then oh, they just move on to the next game. Well, what we do, just like everyone else, moves on to the next day at their job but you take you know, the lessons you've learned from the previous day, good or bad, and you, you try to learn and build on them. Thanks guys, off to the airport, catch a 5 a.m. flight. Take care. On the next episode of Serving the Stripes. Call the obvious. And when we call the obvious, that means that the person in the top of the arena goes, that was a foul. Red 10, it's a hold, two shots.